In this tutorial, we'd like to show you how to apply a mask to a particle that you've placed in the timeline. This is a feature available now for PowerDirector 20 users and PowerDirector 365. We'd like to show you a couple examples of applying this technique and then we'll show you how to use this in several different ways. What I have on the screen is my video of these batteries and let's assume I want to make it look like they have energy flowing out of them so we'll use a particle to enhance that. I'm going to click on the particle room and then I'll pick the particle that I want to use in this case. I'm going to use one called trailing light. I'll do a search and I'll type it in so there's my trailing light and I'll drag it down and we'll match the duration of my video clip. Now when I play this normally, we'll see what we get. We actually have a light, but we also have a bit, little bit of a, uh, of a scene here of a sky, and I don't want the sky, I just want these little particles popping around. So let's go and see what we can do with that. I'll double click on the trailing light particle. That gets me into my particle designer. The first thing I want to do is turn off the background, so I'm going to click the disable button there and that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to click on OK. Now that I have that disabled, what I want to do is change the area in, that is impacted by my particle. So I'm going to move over a little bit in my timeline. And here I see I have my batteries and I'm going to narrow down the area of the particle. So I'm going to highlight the particle and click on the Tools button above the timeline. Then I'm going to choose my Mask Designer. So now what I'm going to do is click on one of my masks. I'm going to take this one and click on that. And then we're going to rotate it so it's horizontal. And now I'm going to take it and enlarge it. I want it basically to show up when we're looking at the, the close-up of the batteries. I'm going to set a position keyframe. And so here, this is where we're going to see those little bright lights show up. And I'm going to move down farther. And the camera moves a little bit, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the position of this. I'm going to move it up a bit. Widen it. And then we'll look at the end and see that's pretty good. I only need a couple position markers for that to work. Now there's something else I want to do when I'm here. You notice we have a very sharp line where this is impacted. And what I often do is I'm going to feather it just a little bit so it doesn't look like there's a line there in the final. So when we play this, go back a bit, we'll play it. And then we see the camera move down and these little lights shine around the battery to show their power. And they isolate themselves to this segment of the video. So that's one way to do that. I'll click on OK. Let's take another quite different video. Here we have a couple sitting on a bench. Obviously there is some affection going on here, so we're going to celebrate that by using another particle. I'm going to use one called confetti here. I can st start typing the word. And here we have some confetti. Let's take this and drag it down. And I'll put it on top on the, another track. And we have confetti falling down as they are drinking their hot chocolate. But the problem I have, the way it is right now, is that it's obliterating their faces. I don't want that to happen. So again, we're going to use a mask. I click on the Tools button. Choose my Mask Designer again. I'm going to take actually the same mask here and apply it. I double click. 
This time I'm going to go vertically and we'll widen it so their faces are basically not going to see confetti. Well, in order for that to happen, I have to click on Invert Mask on the left side. And again, we're going to have a very sharp line for the confetti. I'd rather not do that, so I'm going to feather the radius a little bit. It'll bleed over just a bit, but it'll look pretty good. Maybe I need to move a little bit to the left here, given where the camera is. And when we back up and play this, we'll see that we have the confetti in the scene and it's celebrating uh, their affection for each other and yet it's not obscuring their faces. And I didn't have to go into the particle designer and redesign everything about this particular particle in order to make this happen. So it's a nice shortcut. I'll click on OK. Let's try another one. I'm going to go to this scene of a runner on a beach and let's say I want to highlight their running. So what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to take a, another particular particle. <laughs> I'm going to do one called Swirling Snow and drag it down and apply it to at least part of the video here. So we'll click on our particle and then we're going to click on Tools and choose Mask Designer to mask our particle. I'm going to pick this circle and what I want to do is make, make sure I have maintain aspect ratio turned off on that. And we want to make sure as well that we're going to click on invert mask so everything outside the circle is masked. Then we're going to keyframe this. We'll start at the beginning and set a position keyframe and a scale keyframe. Then we'll move in just a little bit to where the mask starts. And let's say we're going to narrow this just a little bit. And I'm actually going to go up a bit because I don't want the snowflakes on top of the runner. Let's move over a little bit more. And that that one looks okay there. We, we get a larger shot of the runner. We're going to, let's see, move the mask a little bit to the right. And we get the same effect. So I'm going to click on OK. And we'll see the first part of this and see what it looks like as we transition Okay, let's look at the last one. This is going to be a little bit different. We're going to take this, this video of the road scene and apply a mask. I'm going to take one called O2 Light. Okay, I'll take this one and we're going to apply it in this case. Now in this case, we have a mask that has all these bright lights coming down. And what I want to do is I want to make them come down like they're UFOs coming down behind the mountains. So I'm going to click on that, click on my tools designer, my mask designer. And in this case, we're going to pick the icon to the right, the custom selection mask. And then we're going to draw a, a mask around the mountains here. And we close the mask. And now when we apply that, I'm going to take that from the beginning. We'll play this. And now as we play this segment where we've masked it, we're going to see these elements come down, as it were, ahead of all the traffic somewhere beyond the horizon. And so that's an interesting effect using a mask for that particular particle. So you can use masks in multiple ways and keyframe them to enhance the impact of the particles in your projects in CyberLink PowerDirector.